Sometimes in exercise and life, we feel stagnant and stuck. But what can we do to find our motivation again? Today, Hello Morning's writer, Lindsay Bell, encourages us to ask ourselves one simple question to keep going and break free. Hey, my name is Kat Lee, and you're listening to the Hello Mornings podcast, where our goal is to help you begin and build a life-changing morning routine. Now, each episode of the show is designed to inspire you in one of the three key areas of a great morning routine, and those are God time, plan time, and move time. Now, if you're not familiar with Hello Mornings, I'd love to invite you to head over to hellomornings.org to download our three-minute morning routine and watch our mini workshop that explains how you can have an amazing morning routine in just three minutes. So today we're talking about what to do when we feel stagnant and stuck. And today's episode is written by Hello Mornings writer, Lindsay Bell. I'm a list maker. I always have been. And though I see the benefits of lists and how they help me accomplish things, there are also potential drawbacks. One of these drawbacks is that critical activities such as Bible reading and prayer and exercise and daily quiet time can become nothing more than an item on the to-do list. So what's a girl to do when exercise becomes just another thing on the list? Well, the first thing you can do is you can change it up. Sometimes a simple change of scenery can make a huge difference in our motivation to do something. Do you typically walk for exercise? Maybe try riding a bike instead. Do you typically go to the gym? Try taking a walk outside with a friend. Do you find yourself turning to the same form of exercise on a regular basis? Well, just try switching it up. Boredom might be the culprit, and changing up your exercise routine can often be just enough to get rid of this boredom. The other thing you can do is invite a friend. Because inviting someone else to join you a few times a week, well, it can be beneficial for a couple reasons. One, it provides built-in accountability, hopefully keeping you from bailing. But it also encourages community and relationship, another critical piece of a healthy lifestyle. Finally, we can just do the next right thing. This simple statement has become a mantra for a lot of things lately. I first heard it years ago when in the middle of a grieving season, and I didn't know what to do to move forward in life. I felt stuck. My relationship with God was stagnant. My relationships with others weren't ideal. Grief can do that. I certainly wasn't living the life I wanted to live, and I was unhappy most of the time. There's not a great way to describe it other than simply admitting that everything in my life felt off. But just doing the next right thing was what dug me out of this pit. I often take on too much, thinking I need to have the whole big picture figured out before I even take action. But the truth is, we don't have to know the next seven steps forward. We don't even have to know the next three steps forward. All we have to know is the next one. Just do the next right thing. This can apply to Bible reading, or career choices, or relationships, and a whole host of situations. But it can also apply to our health. Sometimes we overwhelm ourselves by trying to do everything all at once, completely overhauling our diets, committing to working out every single day, promising to cut out soda completely, etc. What's necessary, though, isn't always these huge goals. Sometimes it's much better to just focus on today. And what you can do today to improve your health and overall well-being. So let me ask you a question. What's the next right thing for you to do for your health and your life today? I want to encourage you to do that one next right thing. This episode was written by Hello Morning's writer, Lindsay Bell. Now, do you want to learn more about beginning and building a powerful morning routine? Just head over to hellomornings.org and download our three-minute morning kit, and it's going to give you everything you need to get started. 
Now, if you're enjoying the Hello Mornings podcast, I would love it if you would leave a review on iTunes or Spotify or wherever you listen to the show. It helps us out so much. Now, my name is Kat Lee, and I'm so grateful that you've joined me today. I hope we've inspired your mornings so that you can begin waking up for your life and not just to your life. I'll see you on the next episode of the Hello Mornings podcast. It's early in the morning, the house is quiet. But I've set aside this time for you I bow before the throne of a noble king And in this place my heart begins to sing It's gonna be a good day A good day filled with his grace His grace and sweet new mercy May my thoughts obey Jesus to walk in his way by his spirit with each breath that I take. It's feeling like a God day. Mm-hmm. This song is called God Day by Jen Stanbro. You can get your copy at iTunes, Amazon, or jenstanbro.com. Mm-hmm.